Welcome back to Paul and Benny. I'm Paul. I'm Benny. And today we're reviewing Moonstruck's seasonal spring flavor chocolate bars. Ta -da. Ta -da. We haven't done a video in a long time and now today we're just going to eat three candy bars. <laughs> That's the video. Let's do it. So what are these, Paul? These are Moonstruck's out of Portland, Oregon. Moonstruck's seasonal flavor, limited time only chocolate bars. At AJ's Fine Foods, mm -hmm. it's like our local gourmet store here in Arizona. They carry Moonstruck chocolate, which is a little more expensive than the normal chocolate bars. So like you want to give someone a gift with their birthday card or something. They have seasonal flavors. And for spring, they have white chocolate pink lemonade. Milk chocolate ginger lime. And the one I'm guessing is going to be the best just because it's dark chocolate. Dark chocolate s'mores. I'm sure it's gonna be good, but I'm really excited for the other ones because I like that bright spring flavor, you know. I like bright, but I hate white chocolate. Yeah. It's so sweet. It's like frosting, but I love pink lemonade, so maybe, maybe. maybe. So I think we should try the white chocolate pink lemonade first. Why? Because Paul doesn't like it, so let's just get out of the way. And these are all made with all natural ingredients. Ooh, natural. It says made right and sourced right. Okay, get your get right. That's what it says. That's what it says. <laughs> get right. Ooh, oh, it's pretty. It is pretty. It's like a design. Whoa. Ooh. You ain't seen the back though. Bam. Wow. It's freeze dried strawberries. So this pink lemonade. Chocolate bar is made with real lemon and strawberries. Break me off a piece of that Moonstruck bar. bar. Moonstruck bar. Okay, I don't think it's gonna be as bad as white chocolate. It doesn't look super like white chocolate. It's like pink chocolate. It's like pink chocolate. Smell that. Oh, oh, this is nice. Cheers. Oh, ding. Mmm. Hmm. What do you think? Um, I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no. I was really excited for this I one. I was so excited. No, white chocolate just overtakes everything. And it almost tastes like artificial. It's the lemon. It tastes like lemon pledge. Yeah. But it's when you use the lemon zest and you dry it, it gets strong like lemon pepper. Yes. That's not what I want to taste. Go artificial. You don't have to be all natural. That's lemon pledge. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. And white chocolate. You barely get the strawberry. Yeah, I'm gonna say no. No, so that's a big thumbs down for me. Mm -hmm. What about you? Okay, perfect. Hated it. <laughs> okay, so next we're gonna try the milk chocolate ginger lime. Okay. You're gonna like this. I love ginger, I love lime. Milk chocolate's milk chocolate, so hopefully this is quite delicious. Oh, okay. So oh. this one has like dried ginger on the back. But do you like ginger? I love ginger. See, I like ginger too. It smells like chocolate. Smells like chocolate. Mmm. 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 That's nasty. Say it again. Oh. That's nasty. Yeah, what is wrong? Okay. So just the chocolate itself was good for a while. Yeah, first like this is good. Okay, see now the ginger's coming through. It's a good thing these are limited time only. Definitely, definitely a good thing. Yeah, no. <laughs> so that's a big no for me. And a no for me. Although, I feel really bad because we usually don't review things unless... <sighs> we like it. I hear that they have a very fine chocolate bar. <laughs> We should have just tried one of the regular chocolate bars. Yes. Yeah, so and we, then we'd be like, oh, these are so good. Let's try these ones. We just dived into the crazy limited edition ones, which I love to do because I love to try crazy stuff. But you know what? I was like, let's just go for it, Paul. Let's just try it. We should have got the regular ones first. Definitely check them out because they have really good flavor combinations. I mean, maybe we should try those next time. The regular standard the flavors? regular yeah. standard flavors, yeah. But now let's move on to... Dark chocolate s'mores. <laughs> This is 68% cacao. 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 So are you a dark chocolate fan? I want it so dark that it's like bitter. Like yeah. I need to drink some water or iced tea. Mm -hmm. mm. And then you swallow it and like three minutes later your mouth's still covered with like bitter chocolate. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Sorry. I like Needs that. a moment. Ooh, look at that. That's like a piece of artwork there. That is. Okay, flip it around. Oh, Ooh, that is cool. Okay, give it a try. 
Ooh. Smells good. I almost don't even get the chocolate. I don't know if it's because there's so much salt, but for flavoring, I don't like it. Mm -mm. So when you first bite into it, I got strong chocolate and salt. That's awesome. I love salty chocolate. But then you get like, again, like a weird, however they do their flavors, it's like, sometimes you gotta use the artificial stuff. Like, you got to. Like, I don't know what, if it was the marshmallow flavor or the marshmallow bits or what. And we need to calm down on all natural. The very last ingredient is what's overpowered this whole thing. What is it? Smoked sea salt. Um, they want to taste like roasted, no, like that's fire roasted. What it is. You didn't have to make it roasted. No, no. You could have did no, marshmallow no. and graham cracker, yeah. and it would have been good. Because all I taste is smoky salt. But they probably really smoked it. They probably really smoked it. But now it. I get it. Burnt marshmallow flavor. Mm -hmm. If they would have told me to taste like burnt marshmallow, I probably would have liked it. Yeah. I like the marshmallows. Like you catch them on the fire, and they're crispy yeah. black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no. I feel so bad for doing this video. I do too. We usually don't like to do reviews where we don't like everything, but you know what? We wanted to go in blind. We mm. wanted to go in blind and give it a try and it just didn't work. It didn't work. I'm gonna suggest like to be supportive of Moonstruck out of Portland, Oregon. Yes. That you go try one of their traditional chocolate flavor bars. Yes. And see how that is and let us know. They had a ton of flavors and they all looked beautiful packaging like some of them you can like see the interior oh, yeah, of it yeah, yeah yeah so like uh, i'm sorry moonstruck look you guys mm. the thought was there i say a for effort i don't know what i'm gonna rate it i'm gonna say just don't because don't do it don't do it it was it was good unless it like no mm -mm. Mm -mm. it didn't come together and you know what they tried they did something unique and creative yes yes that's what we're about. That's we what love, we're about. We love trying new things, unique. You know, creative. I made them cakes that didn't work. <laughs> Man's like, not that one. So I don't hate them. I'm just saying it didn't no, work. No, just these three flavors. Leave them limited edition. Very <laughs> limited. <laughs> but we'll try some more things. We'll try some more things. It's always on Paul. I'm Benny. We're grateful for. The effort people put into making new products. Yeah, and the opportunity to try all different flavors of chocolate bars. Yes, indeed. And we're grateful for you watching. Mm, and then you swallow it, and like three minutes later, your mouth's still covered with like bitter chocolate. Oh, yeah. wow. Okay. Sorry. I like it. Needs that. a moment. <laughs>